Hello and welcome to another episode of our Cozy Autumn Survival Series. Today we are going to be expanding on all of this fun backyard stuff that we built in the next episode and we are going to be making homes for all of our animals plus a couple that we don't have yet. So we're going to be doing a pigsty, a chicken coop, uh, staples for the horses, which we don't have yet, but for some horses that we're gonna have to get. Uh, a pen for the cows, a pen for the sheep. It's gonna be super fun and we have a lot of work to do, I think. <laughs> we're gonna be basically expanding what we have already built all the way out to, I mean, really who knows where. It's gonna be quite large, I think, this yard in the end, but I'm super excited about it. So first things first, of course, we've got our chores to do and a bit of gathering to do because we're going to be using mostly wood today. So I'm going to start off with that. All right, so I think we are about ready to start building already pretty quick today, but I mean, really we have so many resources, everything's cleared out and everything. So I think we're pretty good to go. So we've got right in the middle here is going to be our horse stable. I think it's gonna be quite cute. It's, uh, I currently have it a little bit off, <laughs> clearly, um, but I think everything's gonna be moved back a little bit. So that one's gonna be moved back to this line, to that line. So we've got a nice little rectangular stable right here behind the bee garden and then over here is going to be our cow pen uh, the cows are already here so i figured over in this area is going to be easiest for that up here we're going to have our chicken coop i'm not 100 sure yet if i'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming to get the building to make sense up here um but i think i might be able to get away with just like putting the building up on top here and then down here being just places the chickens can run around i'll have to see how that turns out and then this is the horse stable again so there's gonna be a little pathway right in here and then over here is another stable or another pen and over here is another pen these are all the same size so one of them is gonna be pigs one of those gonna be sheep um so yeah nothing <laughs> nothing too exciting but yeah I think this is gonna be super fun all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the horse stable here so i think it's gonna be mostly i mean it's gonna be covered i want to do a covered horse stable um, but thinking, actually, wait, let's put some spruce in the corners here. And then I think we have room to do three little stables here. Or three little entrances, at least, anyway. I think they'll all be connected together. Yeah, there we go. I think something like that works for the front. Oh, no. All right, we got some visitors. <laughs> uh, at least we spotted them this time before they start shooting. All right, there we are. I like how uh, I think two of them killed each other there. That's always helpful. Anyway, so here is our little front area. And I'm thinking that I want to do this sort of like lattice roof on here just for the first little bit. And then we'll do a more structured building in the back. And I think that's gonna look really good.
All right, and there is our stable, pretty basic, but I think it looks quite nice. Now let's go and see if we can find some horses for it. Now I know that there is a plains over this way, so I'm going to try that first. Ah uh, yes, it looks like we have a few options over here. So I wouldn't mind, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if we have room for all the horse variants. There's a lot, I think. I'm not even sure how many horse variants there are, so, but I am going to get a few different ones at least. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's over here, but we might have to also check out somewhere else. All right, so we've got a brown one with spots, a brown one. What is over here? Oh, and another brown one. Okay, well actually those two are slightly different, right? Because of their boots. This one has like tall white boots and this one has uh, short boots. <laughs> and one of them has a spot on their head, right? Do both of them? I don't know. But you know what? We don't need a whole bunch of brown horses. I think maybe we can uh, go off and try to find a couple other ones as well. All right, so I ended up taking those brown horses back because I realized I forgot my bed anyway, but it looks like right over here in this little savanna, we might have a couple more horses. All right, yeah, look at these guys. So we have a black horse, a black horse with white stripes. Oh, it looks like they had a couple of babies. That is so cute. Or no, one baby. <laughs> I love that. All right, well, we're going to take for sure these two adult horses anyway. And I guess we could take this little baby one as well. He's kind of cute. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys here for a minute and I'm going to go off and see if I can't find at least another kind of general color. <laughs> a couple more brown horses. Very cute, but we've already got a few of those. Some more black and white ones, but this little guy has the cow spots. I absolutely love that. We have to save him. Also, I cannot believe how many villages there are in this world. <laughs> this is such a good seed. It is um, listed in the description if you, any of you are interested, but like village, village. There was one right over there, like by the savannah, I think right in that area, maybe we can't quite see it. And there's one like right on the other side of that hill there as well. So this is just absolutely insane. Not to mention none of those are the village that we made over in episode two. And uh, that one was also very close to spawn. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a donkey. You know what? I don't usually keep donkeys, but I actually think that might not be such a bad idea for this one. Might as well, you know, grab one donkey for our, uh, <laughs> for our pen. Ooh, was there a pure black one like this over there? Now I don't remember, so I think I'm gonna, maybe I'll bring this guy over there and see if we already have one that we won't take two, but... And the pillagers are back. Why are they so all over me today? <laughs> That's the third run in with them and I haven't even been playing for like that ridiculously long. Ooh, here we go. White horses. Perfect. I think these are both the same. Oh, and they have a baby. I'm so sorry to split up your family. Oh, it's okay. You know what? They were going to split up anyway. You come with me. Okay, well, clearly I did not uh, look up this hill because there's also a whole bunch of white ones up here. But I do also really love these ones with the blonde mane. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. Okay, so it turns out I think this is slightly different. So there are dark brown ones with spots and plain dark brown ones and black ones with spots and plain black ones. So and this one isn't black either. These two are both these two are both brown. Okay, perfect. So. <laughs> Um, I think, well, we're out of leads, so I don't know for sure that we need dark brown one with boots and the one with spots and the one with cow print. So I think I'm going to leave this little guy behind for now, or maybe I should just take them all and then we'll go out again because I want to get, um, there's gray horses, I think too, right? Like more gray colored ones. So we also need to look for those. <laughs> oh, we're getting a little bit obsessive here. All right, so everyone made it back and I do think this looks like enough horses for now. <laughs> Maybe if we find some other ones, um, some other cool colored ones along the way, we can always grab them and add them in. I also had to move the hay over a little bit because I just realized they could hop out. Some of them were hopping out <laughs> and they still look like they're trying to. Some of them have been hopping up onto these blocks as well, but they don't seem to be able to get up onto there and over the fence. So I'll have to keep an eye on it just in case, but so far it seems to be okay. And yeah, look at them all. <laughs> I think they filled this place out quite nicely. So next up while we're doing this area, why don't we go ahead and make the next pen over here? So I'm thinking that maybe we'll do the sheep pen first and then we'll do the pig pen behind it. Doesn't really make too much of a difference, but 
Um, since we already have the sheep, we can kind of move them over here first and we will do that. Now, I do think I'm gonna move this back a tiny bit so that the pathway in between the stables and these pens is a little bit bigger, sort of more similar to the size of this pathway. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep in some of these hills as well, just to, I don't know, I'm gonna try to work a little bit with the, uh, what would you call it, like topography? <laughs> Instead of landscaping absolutely everything and terraforming it all to be flat. I think I'm gonna try to kind of make it work with at least a little bit of hill in the background there. So for these ones, I think I'm gonna play around with fences again a little bit, kind of how I did a different sort of wall or fence for these three gardens. I wanna do something a little bit different for these pens as well. So I'm gonna start with the fence on this one. Now I'm gonna line it up with that guy there and then, I don't know. If that's gonna be there, maybe we'll bring it back two more so that the pathway is just a little bit bigger. And now for this pen, I'm thinking the general wall. So if we do a couple like that, I wanna bring this orange back in a little bit just cause we haven't really been using the like fall colors too much lately, especially this one, it's just kind of all regular wood. <laughs> so I wanna bring that back in. And then if we did, oops kind of a couple of spruce planks. It looks a little bit more like a wall than a fence, but I think it kind of makes sense for like animal pens. Realistically, they probably could get out if it was, you know, too plain looking or too small, I guess. And then look like if we stack a couple more and then I was thinking that these would all be stripped. Okay, I don't mind that. Although I'm thinking maybe we'll bring the orange back up here instead. Or, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe since the acacia trap doors look so much like kind of like fencing or like wall, what if we put them in here? There, like that. Okay, that looks like a wall to me. All right, I like it. All right, there we go. Definitely a little bit different, but I think it's kind of cute. I'm just gonna have to make a couple of gates for the front here. And then I do want to give them like a little shelter back here. I don't think it's going to be anything too spectacular, but I think I might as well just kind of build it right into the wall um, and let it come out just kind of a little way here, maybe along the whole back way. Right, and we've got our sheep up in their new home now. Look at that. So I put in some water over here so it can be sort of like a drinking trough for them. Um, other than that, it's just a bit of, a little bit of like flowers and stuff, but I wanted to give them quite a bit of grass, obviously, because sheep need grass. Um, a couple of bushes here and there just to add some color. And I would love to do a couple of stacks of hay up in the corners in the back there, but we don't have a ton of wheat yet. So I'm just kind of waiting for our wheat to grow and we can collect some more. But yeah, look at them. I love how they stick their faces through there. I feel like, I don't know, I guess all mobs are kind of dumb with trapdoors still, aren't they? But it almost looks like from the outside here, let's go take a look. It almost looks like they're like sticking their heads out for attention or like food or like at a petting zoo or something like that. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. So next up, why don't we go ahead and build the cow pen since we already have the cows over here anyway. I don't think it'll be, well, at least we won't have to move them. We can just open them up <laughs> after we build it. I'll leave them trapped in there while we are building so that they don't get too in the way. But I think this is gonna be fairly similar to what we did with the sheep. I'll think about, I'll try to come up with some other kind of fun fence that we can build and maybe a slightly different structure in here as well. Maybe I'll build like an actual little barn or something for them. I'm not 100% sure what that's gonna look like yet. I kind of like to, just sort of wing it with some of these things. <laughs> but I will go ahead and uh, speed build through this one for you.
And just like that, we have our little cow enclosure. Let's go take a look inside. Nothing too, too exciting, but I think it's pretty cute. We've got our little kind of hut shelter area for them. Of course, we've got their water here. And other than that, you know, just some grass, some flowers, a um, couple of lanterns, you know, for some light. I don't know why they all insist on being in that little corner there, but... <laughs> I was wondering if it would make more sense to bring this back a bit, but I don't know. We're kind of just trying to work a bit with the natural land here and it looks a little silly, but I think it looks, I mean, whatever, it works fine. <laughs> I also went ahead, as you saw there, and finished up these pathways just to kind of make this whole little area come together a little bit more and get a better view. Our oak tree grew. I would love it if some of those giant oak trees would grow once in a while, like the one like over there where it has, you know, sort of the weirder branches, but oh well. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll chop this down and try again, but I don't know. I hardly ever see those ones grow, so we might not, uh, might take way too many tries for it to be worth it. But yeah, there is a little path that goes that way, and this is just kind of an exit path. I don't really have any plans to build anything over here, but it's just a way out of the garden or into the yard, um, whichever that may be. I don't know if I should, I don't think I'm going to do it in this episode because I'm not really convinced on it yet, but let me know if you think I should like wall off or like fence off our whole yard. I'm not really sure if it would be worth it, but I guess it could look kind of cool and it would definitely make it safer in here. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter too much because we're not really out in the dark anyway, but just kind of an idea that I had. Um, I did also fix this, so I changed, I think it looks so much better with the blocks that we had here before, with the wood blocks, but unfortunately they were escaping, and I wasn't 100% sure if it was those or if it was from the hay being on the sides, so I just got rid of both, and uh, now they are a bit better stuck in there, so we don't have to worry so much about it. But yeah, our last two things that we have to do here is right beside our sheep pen here, we're going to do a pen for the what are we missing pigs we're gonna do a pig sty over here which i think is going to be kind of cute and a little bit unique because i'm going to make it all full of mud um, and stuff like that so i think that'll be quite fun and then over here we're going to do the chicken coop which is going to be a bit more of like a building building uh for the chickens to actually like go inside like you would locked up chickens at night obviously we're not going to put them in there they can wander freely but just kind of as an idea um, just to make it a little bit different than these kind of general shelters we've been doing for the other ones this one will be more of an actual like little chicken coop kind of style building so i think i'll go ahead and do the pig one first just kind of making our way back and then we will sort of tie it all up in the end with this last little building here Well, this is gonna feel like a very random sidebar, but I just took off to go and get some more mud from the mangrove swamp to finish up the pigsty. 
And I ran into this, there's two acacia trees here, which means that there must be a, um, a lush cave underneath, right? So, and I've been looking for one to try to find the, well, I haven't been looking for one, but I've been wanting to find one for the glowberries. I think they would go really well with kind of everything in our base. And some people, someone had suggested in one of the early videos um, about putting them like on the side of the house and stuff where we have some blank space. So I think this is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and dig down and hopefully we can find the cave and hopefully it's not too scary. We only have a few torches, but <laughs> hopefully we can just kind of get in, get some berries and stuff and get out. And also the rooted dirt. I think that's gonna go really well, kind of mixed up with where we're putting coarse dirt and that sort of thing. Okay, here we are, we fell right in. This place doesn't seem so bad. All right, how easy would it be if we had uh, a nice bow and arrow right now, but <laughs> that's okay. Oh my, those creepers really blend in well in this, uh, <laughs> in all of this moss, but that's okay, we survived. And it actually looks so pretty in here. All right, I'm going to light up a little bit down there just so that they don't bother us while we are gathering some of these glowberries. And then I think I'm mostly just gonna take the glowberries and the spore blossom and then some of these drip leaves. And I think that's really all that we need from in here. I didn't think of that. <laughs> we brought the axolotls back and I was just gonna get a cute little view here of getting them into the pond, but uh, I forgot that they eat fish. Um, so I'm just gonna move these guys for their safety. And uh, I guess this is an axolotl pond now. <laughs> Now, I know these guys can crawl out, so I think I might need to do a little bit here with like, I don't know if I just need to put the bushes closer to the edge and then maybe a couple of like fence posts just to kind of, you know, block them in there a little bit better or if they're just gonna be able to hop out anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe I will try that to start with and then we'll see if that works. Okay, there we go. I wanted to keep it kind of messy but, and it's definitely a bit more full now, um, but I'm wondering if like these single ones and stuff will be enough to keep them in. I don't know, we will just have to wait and see, I think. Now uh, let's get this pigsty finished up. And look at our adorable little piggies. Get out of the way so I can get in. All right. <laughs> All right, here is their little pig sty. I just brought two um, over from the savannah or whatever that is over there, the plains over there. 
and we made one little baby so far so we'll have to uh, populate this place up a little bit but I think they're so cute I like how we got such like unique um skinned ones as well it's kind of neat but yeah this is their little barn situation where they can sleep they can hang out it's nice and big we'll be able to fit lots of pigs in here which is great and then around here i just added some mushrooms and obviously all the mud some grass and then i decided to give them some flowers as well because i have read that pigs like to collect things like flowers like pretty things and decorate their homes with them and i think that's so cute so i uh, decided to add a few of those in here as well but yeah other than that pretty straightforward i think brought a little bit of that mangrove wood back in since we had to go and get the mud anyway uh, i grabbed a bit more wood from there and we were able to line the roof with it which i think just adds a nice little pop of color and yeah other than that it definitely sounds like I'm in a pigsty when I'm walking around on here. <laughs> the like squelching of that mud is quite the noise, <laughs> I will say. But yeah, that is what our little pigsty looks like and I think it's perfect. I did go ahead and scatter around some of the glowberries. I want to add a couple in there as well, but I ran out. But you can see I put a couple on the back here just to sort of make this wall look a little bit less plain. I also added some inside here. Oh good, one already uh, started glowing. So I might have to trim that. I might let it grow like one or two more down and then I'll trim them so they stop growing. I also added a little bit here too. Let's take a look here. So I decided to add two glowberry um, glowberries on the sides here instead of the lantern. So I'm kind of hoping we can get it so that the uh, they'll grow berries right away. Same with this one. I don't want it to be that long. So I'm just going to let it keep trying until it can grow a berry right up top. Then we'll trim it and have it stop growing it. And yeah, I moved the lantern over here. So I think it'll still be bright enough in here. I don't know. Hopefully with those glowberries, it'll be okay. <laughs> so far, we haven't really been spawning anything inside of here, I think. I think it's all kind of lit up enough, but it's kind of hard to tell. I also added a couple you can see there back in the cow pen, but they also look like they are not glowing at the right height. So I'm going to go ahead and chop that one. Maybe we'll get a glow. I guess these ones are kind of more for just plant decoration. It doesn't really matter if they start glowing or not. I'm going to go ahead and put this one up here, as I was saying, just so that they can have a little bit more greenery in there. I also added a couple to the house, one on the side there, and then one over here. I'll probably add more over here once we move the chests. That was the original suggestion that I had got that I thought was such a good idea. Um, but this wall is kind of full of chests for now, so <laughs> we'll have to uh, wait until we make our storage room for that. And then I did just kind of add a couple in here, one here so that it'll, you know, grow like a little hanging plant. And then I replaced the one up here that I had with vines um, and put the glowberry plant instead. So it'll just kind of grow down and, and look like a hanging plant. But let's get on doing our last task of today, which is the chicken coop. I'm quite excited for this one because I think this coop is going to be super cute. It's going to be more of like, uh, I don't know, what I feel like is a normal build for me. Like it's going to be an actual building building. Um, whereas this one was a pretty plain building. I think this one's going to be a bit cuter, um, a bit more fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Even though it's going to be quite small, it'll still be good. But of course, we're going to start with uh, fencing this area off all cute, and then we will get to that.
And last but not least, our chicken coop. So it's a little bit tight in here, but we'll take a little look anyway. Uh, we can see we've got a whole bunch of chickens in here. They are all probably baby chickens still because I ended up just taking a bunch of eggs and throwing them in here instead of moving the chickens over. So they're all still babies, but we'll see when they grow up. I think this will still work perfectly fine for them. I love them like trying to fly around. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we can kind of see in here. It's not great. Those um, overhead shots will be probably way better that you saw in the time lapse and stuff. But yeah, this is it. So we've got a cute little like kind of gardeny area here. We've got some bushes on the sides just to sort of fill that out a little bit more. I put some wheat in here as well. It's just going to have to grow by rain. And once it grows, I'm just going to leave it. But it kind of, I don't know, I think it kind of looks maybe like food or whatever for them. So there's a few of those around. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Inside here, I just made it small because only you know, chickens are small. They just need to hop in there. I think the adult chickens are also only one high. I could be wrong, but I think they will also be able to get in here. And in there, it's literally just that shelving and then there's a light at the top. <laughs> it's really not that exciting, but you know, shelving how chicken coops usually have um, for them to lay eggs and sleep and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that is that. Let's take another look from just kind of out here a little bit and sort of see the building back there, but it's not super prominent or anything like that. It's just a little chicken coop. So I think it works out quite well. But really, that is everything for today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Our backyard is all done and I think it looks great. It's quite packed and like a little bit busy, but I don't know. I like that look. I think it works well for this sort of cozy like tight little area. Um, I've never really built something quite like that before. Usually I space out my builds way more than that, um, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. You can let me know what you think as well. Hopefully you can grab some inspiration from everything that we've done here and all of that fun stuff. Make sure if you are not subscribed that you subscribe and watch out for the next videos because we still got a few more in this series and they're gonna come out every week on Fridays. So as always, I will talk to you in the next one.